Welcome to our Aspire Photography Training Periscope Chat Session. As we said, every Monday, 9am, we're going to have a conversation with those that want to build their businesses, those that want to develop their businesses, and those that are determined for success. Whether you are a photographer, a blogger, an entrepreneur in any lifestyle business, this certainly will be your destination every Monday, 9am, to kickstart your week. As we said, we were going to dedicate the session to why marketing matters. And as a marketeer, the person that founded Aspire Photography Training, you can imagine this is my pet subject. For all of us and for all in business, we have to find our voice. So I quest you this this week find your voice. What is the tone that you want to create within your business this autumn? Think about the beat within your tour. Is it rallying people towards your amazing products this autumn? Is it about attracting more clients to your business this autumn? Or is it about maintaining the love and loyalty for the clients you already have? So really give a lot of thought as we explore marketing matters to what is your voice, what is the tone, and what is really important for you right now in business. Third thought. Be visible. So many people hear me say that, wow, we're getting lots of loves, lots of likes here, this is amazing, keep it coming. Be visible. It's really important to maintain your visibility in business. So let's explore the funnels that feed your marketing, that feed your business, and will help you develop your business. Wowie, this is a map, and a map that needs to be served for all in business. The most significant thing, we'll call it a thing, but you are a beautiful thing, is you. This person here. You are the one that will make the biggest difference to the business. I say to everybody in business, the best asset your blog has, the best asset your business has, is you. Utilize the you. Really think about as we stride towards next Monday, what has you done every day to make a difference for your business? Also think about your social platforms and how they're working together and what type of harmony they are creating for you and your business. Whether it's Pinterest, Periscope, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, woo, the list is long, let's throw YouTube in there as well. Think about the mix and the beat of your social media platforms. Utilize them as much as you can. I've been told here there's lots of loves and likes coming through. So those loves and likes, let's deposit those back into your business and love and like your business too. I want you all to think about your website. Many know Aspire has just given their website a facelift and it was a facelift with purpose. We wanted to broaden our educational menu. We wanted to offer our clients a better platform to learn from. So we created amazing things from that platform, whether it's online streaming as this is, podcasts that they can download that are complimentary to help everybody develop their business. We've given our website a purpose you give your website a purpose too. Brand is a biggie for me. Lay out all your business cards, lay out all of your brochures, lay out all of your letters, and give a lot of thought to how your brand is working for you right now. Your brand is a major, major asset. And what you want to do is to utilize your assets as much as possible. And it's really important that we do that, really important that we do that. The next thing I want you to think about is your raving fans. People that have tapped into your brand, the best asset you have is your database. All of those who are already in love with your business, all of those that are already um, you know, attached to your business, really utilize um, the people that have already connected to your business in the best possible way. Think about the months that are coming up. We've got autumn, we've got bonfire, we've got my favourite, it's got to be Christmas. What are you going to do this Christmas to share and, and, and to um, connect to your fans? You know, what are you going to do to share with your fans over that period of time? So utilise your raving fans. If you've got a database, what are you doing it? A question that we just had leaked through is what, it, what is Aspire, what do you do? It's a great question. Aspire is a training company and it's a training company dedicated to those that are coming into the business for the very first time, 
bloggers, those that are in what I call hobbyist businesses. And it's also a platform that's for those that are in business that want to improve their businesses, want to improve their sales, marketing, reach out to clients. Aspire offers a broad range of training for those that want to either do photography and blogging for fun, or those that are in business and know they need to improve. And those at the head of their game and they know they need to maintain mojo, creativity, spirit, morale. And that's what Aspire is. So for you online tapping into Aspire for the very first time, welcome. And for the, all of those that are very familiar with Aspire, welcome too. So let's stride forward. Many know I'm a big fan of this, blog, blogging. I'm a real big fan of blogging. Uh, we sponsor the bloggers category for the food photographer of the year. So if you're a blogger, you love blogging, it's food related, enter that category, allow us to shower you with a little bit of affection and love. We really want to support our bloggers. But blogging is a great asset for all in business. It's your magazine, it's your voice, it's your place to share from. So make sure you place your personality, viewpoints, theories, opinions, expertise, it's your magazine, let it rain through your blog. We always want to ensure that we have a platform that represents our business well from, and I do believe that's the blog's purpose. We blog three times a week, we do a lot of motivational quotes throughout the week because we understand it's such an important platform for all in business. Networking, love networking. Love networking online and love networking face to face. So, before we stride into next Monday, think about how you're using your networks. Think about how hard your networks are working for you and how hard are you working for them. Events, have a look into the marketplace this winter. What could you be doing that attracts new clients to the business? What Christmas fairs should you be alert to? What festivals could you be alert to? It's all about being visible. And then finally, your profile, your portfolio. One of the biggest assets all photographers have is this, our portfolios. One of the biggest assets all bloggers have is your portfolio, your portfolio of written word, your portfolio of material, your portfolio of pictures, knowledge, expertise. Use your portfolio, it's your treasure box, and use it to really place your profile in the marketplace and well. And then lastly, my last and final thought for the morning is utilize you, your status in the marketplace, whether that's online or physically, utilize your profile too. So these are my first thoughts for our first Periscope Monday morning chat. I'm really looking forward to welcoming you next Monday. Every Monday we'll pick a topic based around business, based around marketing, based around sales, based around entrepreneurial spirit. We look forward to receiving your questions. So I question you this, if you have something that you want us to address, if you have something that you need us to address that will help your business, don't hesitate to email in. And the Aspire Fairies will bring that question to me. So every Monday, 9am, be here. It's your place, it's your platform, it's for all of those that want to improve in business. We will naturally answer all of your queries and questions and ensure that Aspire serves you well. So thank you very much for listening. It's Catherine Connor, founder of Aspire Photography Training, hosting your Periscope chat.